I want to talk about something that's going to be on the minds of, of all parents watching tonight. The school year begins this week for all states except for Queensland, where students will return on February 7. Now, this year we don't have any lockdowns and children will be back in class, but the return to school comes as COVID and the Omicron wave continues to sweep the country. Now, we're meant to be past our peak on the Omicron wave, but, Matt, there are fears that the return to school will, will spark a fresh wave. How concerned are you as a parent and are the parents you speak to in, in your constituency about sending kids back into the classroom at this point in time? There's a fair bit of concern, Shari. I held a forum with parents last week in uh, my community. I got a school principal and a paediatrician to do an online forum, um, and there was a fair bit of concern from parents. But I think on the whole, most of the community believe that it's the right call because it's based on, on medical advice. Um, parents would have liked to have seen a little bit more information a bit earlier from the government. Uh, I think that certainly in New South Wales, they were late to the party in putting the plan together and then providing the information um, to parents. So they would have liked to have seen a little bit more information a bit earlier on. Um, and there's still a whole host of questions that people have, like what happens to a particular class if the teacher tests positive, what, how do the, is the students end up in that situation? All of these issues uh, are going to have to be worked out in the first few weeks of school. But on the whole, I think it's the right call to send kids back. Um, I'd like to see the vaccination rate, um, particularly amongst uh, the below 13s, up a bit higher. And once again, just encourage as many parents as possible to get your kids vaccinated. It's safe. Uh, we've had all of our kids vaccinated now and they're looking forward to returning to school this week.